right, yeah, how you doing? We're up on another adventure. We actually, um, we're going to our Drossa. Now, as you see on the side of me, my wife is driving. My daughter's sitting in the back. And, um, we're coming into Ryanee. Now, Ryanee's only a small town. They consists of a pub. Now, what I know about Ryanee is when um, the publicans uh, took over the pub, they actually uh, uh, took a bit of the pub away to make a uh, convenience store because there's no convenience stores like delis or anything like that at Ryanee. So yeah, we're coming into Ryanee now. We're slowing down, otherwise we'll end up uh, getting a fine. Now, as we're coming into Ryanee, on my left, I'll just move it around. There, there's the, there's the pub, the Rhiney Hotel. It's a pretty good pub. We've had meals there and everything. So, yeah, we're just going through Rhiney now. I'll just move the camera so you can see it, see a bit of the uh, the homes and that. <laughs> yeah, this is the road to Auburn. And um, yeah, in Australia at the moment we're in the middle of winter and if you have a look at the hills and that they're nice and green. Normally they're not that green and we are coming into Auburn now and um, yeah it's not a bad town now. My daughter's got a little bit of information on that. The best European to explore the Auburn district in eight 1839 was John Hill. He was soon followed later by Edward John Eyre. And uh, there's a there's a there's a uh, hotel in here called the Rising Sun. Now their daughter's got a little bit of information on that. The Rising Sun Inn, which still stands, was built in 1850, and so the Auburn Village was begun. The hotel's enter enterprising proprietor Joseph Edward Breitsmoor also founded the town school which opened in May 1855 under Joseph S. Cole, later of Stanley Grammar School. The name Auburn, properly applied by Williams, is doubtless derived from a line in poem by Oliver Gold. Smith, Sweet Auburn. Now we're turning to the, uh, head to Bataclava. Now, the bit of information the daughter gave you uh, is very good. Now, Auburn is situated in Australia. Uh, there is other towns in uh, other countries that have the same name. And um, is there any more information you got in this town? One thing, uh, <coughs> Auburn is part of uh, it's part of a, uh, a great, great growing um, town. It's to do with the the, uh, the Clare Valley, virtually the Clare Valley, um, well, like Brosser Valley. Uh, they grow grapes and that, and it is uh, a lot to do with farming as well. So. around Auburn have won some very good awards for their uh, wines. As I'm looking to the left of me, that's the view we're getting from the road. It's uh, pretty good. I can see a small vessel out in the ocean. And um, if I pan to me uh, right side, we've got the farming area on the right. So I've got the ocean on the left and farming on the right. We 
have a boat on my left. I think he might be going fishing. And coming up is a garage that's on our right. Just pan over there a bit. And yep, welcome to Argos. My memory serves me not. On, on, on the right hand side, there is a golf club. Golf course. Oh, golf course. There's a golf club anyway. So. Okay. And you've got some people that like <coughs> to take the golf buggy instead of walking. Okay. And I'll pan to my left. And yes, there's more fairways on the left. So if you go for, if you like playing golf, well, uh, Adrosan looks like it's a place to go. Yep, well, that's our caravan park that we'll be staying in. All we're doing now is looking for the way in. So, um, okay, we're going to go left. We're gonna go left. Can't see much of a caravan park at the moment because there's a fence there. And it's the uh, Dawson Caravan Park, J.R. Brown Camping Reserve. of the caravan park a little bit of driving here and there and uh, we are staying in I believe we're staying in one of these cabins I'm not sure which one at the moment so I'm out the car now that's the area we uh, that's the office that we got to book in the wife and the daughter's gone in to book to book in and um, yeah you know, our dressing caravan park, they've got en suites, powered and unpowered sites. And uh, they've got cabins, and as well as they've got luxury and they've got standard cabins as well. And uh, you can see the phone number. So if you ever want to come to our dressing, um, this caravan park looks uh, fairly good. Uh, we're staying in a, a, ca a cabin for about three days. And um, yeah. And we're just going into the booking room now. I know the bottom club. <laughs> That's the only thing you do know. Yeah. Now, but, so, yeah. Uh, so you're going to be roughly about there in the park. Okay. So yep. heading back out down that main road into the town is along here. 
you've got um, Drake's supermarket here. Yeah. Got a bakery down in the main street. Um, butcher, Chinese takeaway. You've got another takeaway here. Um, pub, if you're going for a meal, this one up here. Okay. Up, up in the corner. Uh -huh. um, so that'll get you through there, mm -hmm. and you're going to go and sort of do other things around. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Fishing. Well, yeah, you're here for three nights. Fishing. So take. Fishing. Take there. Well, this is a cabin from the outside, and uh, I'll take you inside in a minute. And uh, there's a place there for a wheelchair, as well as you've got your steps. Oh, let's take you inside and show you inside. It's a pretty good cabin. Um, you've got a nice ta you've got a table outside and that, and you can smoke here, but you, you're better off smoking more to the back so the smoke doesn't get into the cabin. And uh, it's a sliding door entrance. And as we walk in, as we're walking, uh, to your left is a, the fridge. And it was a, there's a fridge. There's, you could actually live in here, it's so good. It's a gas, gas cooking as well. And most, all, most of this is already here when you get here. And then, um, we we'll look over there's a nice, there's well, a couple of lounges. Uh, the wife and the daughter are looking at a, a pamphlet, and uh, there's a, like the dining table as well as table you want to sit down and read. I'll take you into this is only a two bedroom. But I'll take you into one of the bedrooms. <coughs> one of the bedrooms. Um, it's got a double bed below, and there's a single bed single bed above and yeah it's not not a bad size bedroom there isn't a wardrobe or anything but there is a place where you, where you can hang your clothes and put your clothes as well and uh, this is the uh, bathroom and toilet um, I haven't had a shower yet we've only just got here but shower looks pretty good and um, yeah uh, there's a bathroom sink, there's a toilet, there's a small bin down there. And um, oh, this is the main bedroom. It's actually a, a queen size, <coughs> I believe it's a queen size bed. And same here, you haven't really got any wardrobes, but you've got a hanging area, you've got a mirror. It comes with a TV in the bedroom itself. So yeah. It's not a bad cabin at all. And uh, so yeah, we, we've got a, we've got a, actually a, a, fit, a reasonable size uh, TV on the wall here. And um, so that is our cabin. So I shall leave you for now.